Hey guys, welcome back to Colina Le Montagne, where I, Evelyn, talk to you guys all about the wonderful world of Italian bureaucracy, life in Italy, how everything goes, a little bit of travel thrown in there. But today we're gonna focus a little bit more on life in Italy, especially for people who have just moved to Italy. And we're gonna talk about how to get your residency in Italy. Now, hold on though, because getting your residency, by this I don't mean getting your permesso di soggiorno, that is your permit to stay. Your residency, what I'm talking about right now, is simply just proof that you actually live in Italy, proof that you have a contract. This residency then helps you get signed up for healthcare, it gets you a carta d'identità, and it can also just get you settled in Italy. And also a good thing to know, if you are thinking about applying for citizenship in the long run, uh, you do need to have 10 years of residency under your belt, as well as if you are applying for the Carta di Soggiorno um, via a work visa or via Partit IVA, anything like that, you will need to have a residency. So it is really good to get. Personally, I waited too long to get residency in Italy. I like if I had just gotten it when I first moved here, I would have been a lot closer to getting citizenship or getting a Carta di Soggiorno, but that's okay. I did get it just a few years ago and found that it actually was the easiest of all the processes that I had to do in Italy. I say that it was the easiest, but I personally have only applied for and changed my residency in smaller towns outside of a main city. I have heard from people who have applied in a city that it is a little bit of a longer process. They do a little bit more checking, but let's talk about that first. Let's start from the beginning of how you can get your residency. So first things first, obviously to get residency in Italy, you need to be legally here in the sense that you need an official contract for your house that has been registered with the Agencia delle Entrate, or you need to show ownership of that house that you actually own it, house, apartment, whatever it is. Now I've talked about in the past about renting in Italy, there are some different types of contracts. The long-term contracts like four by four or um, three by two, these type of contracts will definitely allow you to have residency. If you are signed up for a transitorio, legally you can get residency. However, since transitorio are short term, a lot of the time your landlord doesn't want you to apply for residency. And the reason that might be is because when somebody registers as a resident then in a house, it can have a lot of tax implications or like uh, implications on your tari, which is this thing that you pay for the garbage. So your landlord might not want you to apply for residency there. So if you are on a transitorio or any other type of contract that's not a long-term multi-year contract, just check in with your landlord, check in and make sure that you can apply for residency there so you don't mess anything up. Once you have this contract in hand, um, you don't actually need the receipt from the Agencia del Entrate, just the original contract will suffice. However, if you do have the receipt from the Agencia del Entrate, even better. And all you have to do then is head to your local comune, so your local municipal offices. Now, in a small town, you can just show up. They don't care. There's not a line. You can just show up, knock on the door, say, hey, can I apply for residency? If you are living in a city, Florence, Rome, Milan, even in the center of Turin, you might want to check online because you might have to make an appointment beforehand. So I did look up a few different cities to find out what the process is because it is a little bit different in each one. In Rome, you don't necessarily need an appointment and you can actually do it without going to an office at all. You could do it via a PEC if you have one, that is your um, the official email, or you can do it via a raccomandata using the postal service. Otherwise, Florence has a bit of a different situation for each type of thing. So if you're a newcomer and this is your first residency, if you are moving, if you are changing residence within the city, they have a bit of a different process and they have all of that on their website. They'll have a form for you to fill out and they'll also have the office that you need to call and make an appointment with. Napoli, you'll also need to make an appointment online and you'll have to do it with the specific municipality. So not just Napoli as a whole, but you'll have to pick your, your small area and all of that is on their website as well. And Milan, you can also look Comune di Milano Residenza and you'll find all the information there. You have to sign in, print a form, and then you'll also have to make an appointment online and then you'll be good to go. So when you show up for the appointment, what you're gonna have to bring is you're gonna have to bring all of the contract uh, information about your apartment. You're gonna have to bring your ID and permesso di soggiorno. And then some Comune, like I said, some of those websites might have another form for you to fill out. So if they do, you'll also need to print that out and bring it. 
uh, in the small areas that I went. They just had something I needed to sign on the spot, but it wasn't anything really big deal. So that's all you have to bring. That's all you gotta do. Then in theory, it's super easy to show up and you hand in all those documents. They'll have you sign a few things and then they're going to hand over quite a few documents to you. They'll hand you over a, re a receipt that proves that you did register your residency. They'll also hand you a specific one that goes to the ASL, so it goes to your Hacienda Sanitario Locale, and that is the form that allows you to choose your doctor in your area that you claimed residency. Great, from there, you are a resident. That's all, that's all that it takes. But some places, in theory, there is a last check before your residency comes. And that is a physical check done by the Carabinieri or local police. Basically, they just come to your house, knock on the door, check that you live there to make sure you're not lying about your residence. Again, this is something I found kind of differs. Uh, in all of the small towns I've lived in, no one ever has done this. Or if they do, they might just come and check the, the buzzer downstairs, but they never actually knock or come up. Instead, in certain cities, I have found that some cities do take that seriously and they do come check on you. And sometimes they won't actually give you the receipt of residence until they've done that check. So it really depends on the city you're in and how long that's gonna take. In theory, they should pass by within the next month or so. So what if you just need to change your residency? So let's say you lived in Rome and now you've moved to Torino. Well, then you're just gonna go through the exact same process. You make an appointment with the Comune, you bring in those papers and they'll register you as a resident. That's it. It's actually not very different if you're moving, if you are a newcomer, anything like that. So you should be all set. So what can residency do? Um, once you are a resident, you do need to get signed up with the local municipality for your TARI. That is the taxes you pay for garbage collection. And this price, I can't give you how much it costs because it depends entirely on each community, each city. And it also depends on how big your apartment is, how many people are living there, all these type of stuff, but you get registered so that they can bill you the right amount and they'll send that to you yearly. Also, once you have residency, you should look up your local ASL office, take that form that they gave you and you should go get signed up with your local healthcare. So you can get your tessera sanitaria, but you can also get your doctor, uh, your local doctor all set up. Finally, if you do have a car, uh, if you or your partner are driving a car, this car also needs to be registered to the to the comune, so they will also require maybe the libretto from the car, and they will send you like a little slip that then says it changes the residency of where that car is is located. And finally, now that you have residency, you can officially request your carta d'identità. Usually this is done just where you apply for residency. You just ask, hey, can I have a carta d'identità? You'll have to fill out another form uh, and pay. Last time I paid, it was about 20 euros. Uh, and then they'll just have you hand in a photo, uh, sign some forms, and then within a few weeks, you'll get your electronic carta d'identità. And that's all there really is to know about residency. So do make sure when you change houses, even if it's in the same town, if you change houses to a different town, make sure you're keeping up to date with your residency so that you're paying the right taxes so that you're all set with that. Uh, it's really important to check that. So I hope that helped you guys out and we'll see you next time.